Hey everybody, it's uh, month five. Um, XCOM is going particularly well. We have all of our troops at a fairly decent advantage. Uh, right now we have a couple of different goals that uh, should be uh, tantamount. So first things first, we really want to capture that uh, alien, what's it called? The um, outsider. We really need to get that. It'd be really nice to finish that mission out before uh, the next month rolls around, because I believe we're in month five and month six is where things start getting a little crazy. The uh, best of the aliens start coming out, um, and I believe that if we complete the alien base mission before that happens, we won't run into any sectopods or other insane things uh, while we're invading. So that'd be a good time to get ahead, get uh, some good soldier upgrades and get access to the cool powers that uh, result from running the against the alien base. So first order of business to tr is to try to shoot down and essentially just get a hold of that alien thing. We also need to get a support up to snuff, at least to the point where we can heal three times. Uh, we want to get two heavies in pretty good condition. We like our assault right now, that needs to, he needs to get up a little better. And then of course we've got the snipers, they want to go to the very top. Once those heavy plasma rifles finish, we should have some Commander, pretty sweet options. Commander, we picked up multiple so. requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Ah, so we have a couple of different things here. Scientists, money, and an assault trooper who is a captain. We really don't need the captain assault trooper. Um, obviously all of these missions are going to be tough, but uh, we should be able to deal with it pretty well. So, Mexico and Fukuoka are the two areas that are currently under threat. I'm thinking I want to go to Mexico for those scientists, because research speed is of uh, critical importance at this point. And because we actually have the ability to go in and start doing research, which is good. Okay, so it looks like the Deadbolt and Prototype are here. My other sniper is of course down for the count, uh, on account of uh, last missions. <sighs> rather impressive muton beating. XCOM Enemy Within is releasing in about a month. Um, I looked at the features that are being added in, and one of the things that they have is the ability to grab your characters and actually like take all of the equipment that they need off, which is nice. So like, if you are trying to equip something, there is going to be a Make Available button for that equipment that you're looking to use. Alright, so we have three plasma rifles, which means that these rookies are going to be in good shape for whatever they want to do. Um, I feel like giving that support an alien grenade and some goodies is just fine. Obviously this one wants a plasma rifle, and he's got his medikit already. We have two supports, two heavies, and an assault. I'm not sure if we need another assault, but uh, I'm certainly happy to have Lori Wells along with us. So. Let's go ahead and give her another alien grenade, just so we have a lot of uh, aggressive stuff on the field. We want to get plasma pistols at some point, um, but I think we're happy with this at the moment. Uh, our heavies will have our... I mean, the fact that we have we don't have heavy lasers right now means that our heavies are actually going to be the ones doing the least damage, which means it's probably good that Zaitseva has our arc thrower for capturing. Um, Although, honestly, with Prototype, I believe he's posting the Shredder rocket. With that in tow, and we have two alien grenades available, I think we're going to clear... Oh, whoops. Uh, I think we're going to take Victor and give him a second arc thrower, because we're feeling pretty good about where we're at. So, oh, <laughs> we do actually have to buy the arc thrower first, so let's do that. So it's a great market. Uh, Muton corpses are worth a lot. But uh, these things, alien stasis tanks, have no research benefit, and therefore worth money. UFO power sources. I think alien surgery is also, yep, awesome. So that actually just gave us a ton of money that we can use to spend on other things, uh, including foundry projects, which we might actually do. Uh, first things first, though, let's get that second arc door. And we can build an alloy shiv would be a pretty sweet addition to the team. We also need to consider whether or not we have any foundry projects that we want. Improved pistol one, that's not it or not. Uh, what we're looking for is ammo conservation, which 
costs 150, 20 weapon fragments, and a muton corpse. Six muton corpses. Fortunately, we have plenty of muton corpses, so that's going to be good. But um, improved pistol one is not going to be a huge of huge importance to us because we're not big on the pistols. Uh, we do have snipers, but I don't usually use their pistols, so all's good. Also, uh, improved criticals on pistols is kind of a problem because you want to use the pistols to do one or two damage so that you can uh, get somebody weaker for uh, arc throwers. Chit and plating is, of course, available if I had the chrysalid corpses, which I don't because I sold them all. Uh, huh, do we only have one plasma sniper rifle? That's interesting. I'll have to get a second one, but that's going to cost us a ton of money. So, I think we're good here. Alright, back to that mission. Mexico City, Mexico, grab those scientists. Squadre Delgado, you're going to be carrying a second arc thrower into the fight. And we have four plasma weapons on our side, along with fairly decent armor, so... Jump right in. Ha-ha! Are we ready for action? We're going to Operation be Lone Dream. This mission. Oh. We picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Such a lovely name for a mission. It's also at the paper plant, which is, uh... I believe that's where we had our first mission, the paper plant. Um, yeah, we had our first mission here. It was, uh, not a bad one. I was watching an impossible playthrough on the paper plant. The person was uh, really excited about these walls and uh, using them to go through these areas with the cars. Because obviously the cover uh, in that car park is kind of crap. But uh, I don't know, I feel like it's just better to go through this area here because there's a lot of good cover in this area. Uh, these cars are not heavily destructible. Obviously you have these options here. Um, so first things first, let's open up a sight line here. We didn't trigger anything, so all's well. Um, we have the big cars there, so that means that we should probably go ahead and move the supports into the back line. Uh, with the sniper rifles uh, sort of up front, but not really. Just uh, somewhere where they can shoot. Uh, Madasa is obviously going up the closest. Where is you are going right here? Oh, you're right. You're actually at assault. That's okay. Um, yeah, and I'm fine with having you move over here. Oh, and we don't have our second sniper. That's what's going on. And keep the other medic to the back. Okay, plenty of overwatch is going down. We can hear floaters. The thumping sounds a little bit like, um, what are they called? Mutons. Alright, so we know there are no aliens in the car park proper, which is good. We also have some nice cover here. Just gonna get behind this car. Um, I think our other heavy probably wants to be eh, about there. And the rest of us don't want to be in... Uh, I don't want to uncover anything by accident, so... Run across, and then that way. Alright. So those floaters are a wandering. Um, and get Deadbolt into a position where you can see. All seems to be well there. Um, so the next thing is to make sure that these lines are available. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take our heavy around one side of the corner, since our assaults can run a little further. Alright, we have vision there, so all's good. Our other heavy is going to cover this side of the car. Um, our support's probably good where he is. This is not a terrible spot, but um, if we want to, we can go ahead and move him 
say over here. That'll give him a better overwatch. Where our other support here is fine. And that'll get us our assault ready for the breach. And our support should also be ready for the breach, probably right there. That was a little bit risky, because I'm uh, not sure if we aren't going to see any uh, aliens there, but uh, I think we're good. Okay, we can hear mutons what in the car park. Sound? So we're going to get inside the building where we have cover. Oh, we found a cyber disk. That's upsetting. Um, let's see here. I'm not sure how we want to deal with the cyber disk just now. Um, certainly the first thing to do would be to get rid of those drones. So, since we have the alien grenades on hand, I'm just going to toss one in there. Gives our squaddy a promotion. Our heavy does have heat ammo, so if he can get a vision on the cyber disc, then he can shoot it and deal some serious damage. Eh, not a terrible lot, but some. Of course, he missed, so that's kind of a problem. Our support going to go around the back here. I don't think we're especially concerned with dealing with the uh, cyber disc this turn. She can obviously deal a lot of damage and kill one of our rookies, but uh, I think what we're going to do is put up some defense and just try not to group up too much. Our second support going to be running in on the side, probably finding some spot where there's actually cover. And eh, not feeling too good about any of those spots, so let's just get her over here. The wall. Our sniper. Eh. Again, we don't have a great shot at anything, but we can at least get him up against this wall and put him on Overwatch so that he can fire at that cyber disc when it comes by. Uh, finally, we still don't want to stack up too much, but mm, this might be worth it. Go ahead and put him on Overwatch and see what happens. Okay. So that cyber disc, obviously moving on. Uh, Oh, he doesn't like this option too much. He's bailing. Okay. Well, that's going to give us a couple more options. It doesn't look like we have any options on destroying that cyber disk this turn. However, we might actually be able to hit him with a rocket if we do it this way. Let's see here. Yeah, okay. That actually will cover him. And it'll blow a hole in this wall, which will give us a nice entry point. Uh, plus, with the heat ammo, it should do 100% extra damage, so that'll be 10 damage. Ah, and even 12, actually. So at this point, any rookie should be able to just run up and kill him, which is good, because we've got a rookie available to do exactly that. Um... Start by approaching from this direction. Hmm, actually, we're going to go this way. My rookie doesn't have a shot yet, but he should be able to get into cover right here. Going in for the kill. And from there, he'll have a pretty good shot at the cyber disc. Oh, crap. Oh, my. We now have a serious problem because that Berserker is definitely going to mess up my s assault. I'll get next time. <sighs> okay. So the first thing that needs to happen is we need to get our support into a better spot where he can shoot that guy as he comes through the door, which is what's going to happen right now. Same thing goes for our sniper. The damage from the sniper is going to be especially important. Um. I don't think we can fire another rocket such that that uh, 
particular person will die, but we can get into a position where we can possibly shoot at him. Yep. 57% chance to do 5 damage. Yeah, I didn't really expect it to work, but it was a nice try. Um, the support, honestly, I think he's going to line up against the wall, just so we have a third person overwatching on our Muton Berserker as he rushes through that door. We're probably doomed anyways, I think the Assault Trooper is not going to live through this, but our Plasma Sniper Rifle is charging up. Oh, and the Berserker is down. Alright, Major Madasa is now, I believe, top of the ladder. The Cyber Disc still retreating, <laughs> conveniently through the hole that we made in the wall. And there's a new hole in the wall. <laughs> caused by uh, excessive destruction of forklifts. So, the mutons could be anywhere, but odds are pretty good that they're hiding in one of these trucks. The best way to get up there would be to... Hmm. We definitely need eyes on these trucks, but uh, we have to be careful about how we put people there because if the muton is inside the truck, then obviously running up and getting into the area will be bad. I don't believe he's in the second truck, so we're going to go ahead and run up there and hope we don't trigger an overwatch. We didn't, so everything's good. Um, I think our opportunist he shot here is just fine. And we'll also start getting other people into... Hmm. We still have to worry slightly about where these people are, so we're going to be careful about our cover. Um, I think that this is probably a good spot for our heavy to look. And in the meantime, Zaitseva can go ahead and cover... Hmm. Still have to keep an eye out for that cyber disc, so we're going to have to be careful. Let's see if we can get some cover up here. And finally our support. Gonna be caught out in the open from one direction, but this is probably a good spot because it's got cover on both sides and a slight view. Um, finally, our assault uh, can walk up these stairs and get a good view of what's coming out of either of those tankers. So, we'll stick that up. Now, these mutants haven't seen either of us, so we can kind of expect one of them to charge out. Yep. Less muton. There's the other one. Shot failed to connect. Ah, adjusting aim. Okay, so all of that tells us that we set our overwatches up just right. Um, at this point, I think our assault can easily get into these trucks and start doing some serious damage, especially if the Muton's right there, which he is. I'm about to start keeping score. And another Muton bites the dust. We're not really concerned with collecting those grenades or plasma rifles right now. They're worth money, but uh, more important is definitely getting a hold of outsiders or uh, basically any new types of aliens that we find in on, on abduction missions. Okay. So, with the mutons successfully eliminated, we're definitely going to start wanting to put up overwatches for those cyber disks. Um, we have just enough ammo that that's a valid possibility. Eh. I suppose there's nothing wrong with an overwatch number three. And another one right here. This is now better cover. So. <laughs> what was that sound? The burning building is creating new sight lines as we overwatch, which is probably going to be helpful, but we'll have to be a little careful anyways. Let's see if we got a sight line here. Okay, nothing going on there. Assault Trooper can run outside this building and 
get a view on the cyber disc if it tries to come around and flank us. Which is certainly a possibility. And that cyber disc could be very sneaky. Or it might just be running for the hills. I am loving this area. It's just filled with good places to hide. Plenty of awesome cover. Um, I don't think I really want to step any further forward if the cyber disc comes through that hole. So, we're just gonna stay here. If we could base our entire mission out of this area, that would be pretty sweet. Another forklift just exploded. So... Okay. Definitely no cyber discs there. We're gonna get prototype through this area here. Okay. Go high. Go high. So we now have a pretty clear view of well, basically just a pile of troops. Um, our heavy isn't currently out of cover, but he does have to worry about what's going to happen if uh, those floaters tried to take him out. So it might just be good to run back behind this cover, get somewhere safe. Which I'm thinking right behind our sniper is in a bad spot. Uh, we can't spare too much here, uh, but we can move up to here. That'll give us a pretty good eye on whether or not the cyber disc is approaching. Eh, nothing special going on there. Our sniper obviously needs to be an overwatch for those floaters. And we need to start covering this side of the building. Uh, the support's going to move up. This is a pretty good spot. But I don't think anything's going to gonna happen, so we're going to reload that plasma rifle. Tried to flank, got a face full of lead. Amusingly, that floater moved into bad positioning. But we also don't have any ammo in this gun, so we have to be a little careful. Uh, we're gonna back up a little bit. Reload. Let's rock. Our sniper's in kind of a rough spot here. I don't. I actually think what we're gonna do is cover these doors, since they're pretty easy doors to cover. Our assault trooper, in the meantime, I'm gonna move up real quick, make sure that cyber disc is not hiding behind the garbage can, and go ahead and reload that gun. Um prototype needs to be in a position where he can actually do some damage. I'm thinking right back here. Alright, they're definitely a coming, so let's see about what we can do to make sure that nothing bad happens to us. Go ahead and open up that door and keep an overwatch out for that cyber disc. Oh, the mutons got a flank. Oh, that was a bad decision on our part, and it cost us a pretty good heavy. Poor Jack. Okay, our heavy's obviously panicking. Um, our sniper is also in a bad position, so we're actually pretty glad that he didn't get murdered. Um, we're going to come around to here. Still don't have the shot. Do we have anybody with a grenade? Jack was carrying the grenade, you say? <laughs> How silly. Alright, um... Alright, I'm just gonna reload that plasma sniper rifle. We know that that's a bad spot, 
but uh, not much we can do about it right now. I think we're going to get some smoke up. And now we're going to desperately need our assault trooper in close soon, so I need to definitely have to run her up into position. As for you, support, it may be time to come home. Let's see here. Yep, go ahead and get you into a spot where you can do something. Stay right here. So there's that other floater again. He's now moving into a better spot. That's actually a terrible spot. X-rays coming in from the side. They're on the move. A little help over here, please. Suppression is destroying our cover. And our other muton is now visible. Which means that he's not trying to flank us or do anything silly. A floater is in a flanking position. run this far out, I don't think we'll have a shot at him, but it might be a pretty decent shot anyways. Alright, we do have this rocket. This rocket is going to be our savior. Weirdly did no damage to that muton. Not really sure what's going on there. Also, we only just now made sure that we had a vision on him. So, in any case, his cover's gone, so we're going to kill him. One less muton in the world. Uh, from here, our next option is definitely going to be trying to kill that floater there. A couple of options for doing that. We're going to start with the medic. Oh, unfortunately, that was a bad idea because we're flanked by the muton, but... Well... No, that is not good. Hilariously, I have vision on something. He's down. Now, if I can just get rid of that other muton, life will be dandy. Doing so may be prove somewhat difficult, though. Alright, I have plenty of people exposed right now, so I'm going to make a bet on run and gun. That wall's still there, so... Go ahead and get ourselves into a good position. And murder his eye teeth out. Or not. I'll get him next time. Well... Muton's decision was clear. Fortunately, Squatty Wells is only critically wounded, so as long as we wrap this up soon, nothing bad will happen to her. I can also use a medkit if such tactics present themselves. We now know where that cyber disc is, finally, so that's good. Also, our Squatty here. Doesn't actually have to find cover, but uh, might as well definitely get into it. We're planning on killing this muton no matter what this turn, so let's take the easy shot first. Alright, he's down. And that frees our other squaddies up to try and hunt down that cyber disc. Who is definitely over there somewhere. <laughs> um, okay. Get over here. And put Overwatch up. Uh, this guy's Overwatch is just fine. Oh, Squatty. That was not a shot you wanted to miss. Fortunately, Delgado's got you covered. X-ray neutralized. Operation 
operational objectives completed. All right, we lost a heavy, but we're feeling pretty good about that one. Japan is in a panic. Madasa is now at the top of the rank. There are two options here, either double tap, which I can use both actions for double shots, standard shots, and disabling shots, or in the zone, where if I kill a flanked or uncovered target with a sniper rifle, it doesn't cost an action. Uh, for this character, in the zone is going to be our choice. We're going to take double tap for the other sniper. We now have a colonel, though, so we're pretty good about that. Um, covering fire is really good in some instances, and it'll actually be even better once enemy within comes out, but uh, sprinter... It's going to be where it's at, because we want somebody who can run up and actually um, do good things. Our assault trooper, gravely wounded, but uh, not too badly, not too terribly in trouble. Is she the one who was knocked on her butt? Yep. So that uh, critical wound probably costs her a little bit of willpower, but she'll gain some back as well, so she'll be better than any assault that we have raised thus far. We have a berserker corpse, cyber disc wreck bunch of weapon fragments, those are extremely we useful. Will be in touch, Commander. And will allow us to finally build ammo conservation as soon as we sell something else. Uh one mutant corpse should be enough. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Oh, that's gonna be a fun project to have. So I can now just research and build alien grenades if I want to. I have three of them already though, so I think I'm good. Uh, drone capture is a pretty decent one now that we have drones, so that might be something that we research. Improved medikit is definitely on the agenda, but I don't know if we have the thin man corpses for it. Oh, I guess we do. We actually saved those. And stealth satellites. They go flight computers, engineers, lyrium and alloys, but We'll make it harder for them to shoot down our I'll make sure production satellites. begins immediately. And as soon as we've got something, I'll be in touch. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and uh, scan. Get the satellites finished. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. You don't actually have to do anything else. Those heavy plasmas are almost done. Which means we can start assigning research to a new type of ship. Oh, that'll actually give us shiv plasma as well, which uh, will be pretty sweet. Skeleton suits are really cool. Um, I was looking at the stats for them, and although they don't provide quite as much uh, armor, they do provide a lot of other good things. However, Illyrium, I think, is going to be where it's at. The new firecraft is apparently not available. We don't have enough weapon fragments for it. which kind of sad because we spent those weapon fragments on um, something else. In any case, the Illyrium will cost us very little and provide us access to the Titan armor upgrades. Those are upgrades that we sorely need. Uh, we're not going to worry about selling things for those heavy plasma rifles yet. Uh, we're just going to see what happens. Alright, the Situation Room calls. Our council mission is target extraction. So panic reduction, bunch of scientists, $153. Complete. We'll get that started as soon as we break recording. Um, here comes the next episode, everyone. <laughs>